Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your December bonus reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you are doing well. So Virgo, it's very interesting. I'm, I'm getting, I'm pretty sure it's going to apply to quite a bit of you all because I keep hearing the song. I'm, I'm literally having to talk over hearing the song over and over again. But what's so weird is I'm hearing both versions, right? So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Thank You by Dido. Okay, but then also remember the song Stand by Eminem was, you know, was, was from the hook of Dido's song, Thank You. So I'll leave both songs in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. They both have two completely different um, meanings, but overall the energy feels the same for me, what I'm picking up. So in the Thank You song by Dido, she's saying, I want to thank you for giving me the best days of my life, things like that. But in the Eminem song, Stand... This is someone who has taken fandom and being a fan of someone's to the extreme to where they are a stand, like a stalker weirdo person. And I'm getting very strongly, okay, so let me just give you the signs that I got. You had Major Arcana, the Emperor, so Aries. Then you also had Major Arcana, the Magician, Virgo, also Gemini. Um, oh, and then as soon as I pick this up, you have strong Capricorn energies. Um, so Capricorn could be involved as well. Oh, yeah, and then also Taurus. Because you have the hair font. Now, I just want you to see how this is going. First of all, you have some very powerful energy here. I just want you to see strong male energy. You got the devil. You have the emperor. You have the hair font. You have three major arcanas. Two at the front and one at the back. And then it's followed by, a, you know, a eight. So, this is very strong energy. I feel like this is a very prominent person. This is someone who you have... Um, a great deal of history with what i get with this is that somebody could feel like even if you're a female this person could feel like you're a very powerful person like it's something about your energy that's very powerful it's alluring to them um it draws them into you or you may feel like this about somebody you may really feel fond of someone this could definitely be involved in someone who is married because both of these individuals are married the emperor is one half of a divine counterpart to the empress and then the same with the hair font. The hair font is always talking about traditional marriage, traditional relationships, you know, something solid and secure, you know. And also, I'm going to say this could be someone who is a team lead, a manager, a supervisor, someone who owns their own business. This is just someone, again, in a position of power, dominance. Somebody admires your power and dominance, or you may feel like that about someone. But I'm, I'm telling you, somebody is like really putting someone on a pedestal is what I feel like. Because you see how even this glow is coming from behind him. It's like this person, in someone's mind, this person could do no wrong. Somebody really admires someone, but I feel like it, it may be going a little too far is what I'm getting there. Also, someone, I'm getting a message that someone could be perpetuating how wealthy they are. Because both of these people are very financially fat. As soon as I parted this, didn't I tell you I seen a magician? I can't make this up. And then of all the four elements right at the top is the pentacles. So someone could be perpetuating how financially abundant they are or how financially well off they are. Yeah, okay, because remember, look at that, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So someone could really be coming off as dominating their field when it comes to, and I just heard somebody could be working in sales, but somebody could really be perpetuating how big of a deal they are fighting as far as their finances go. You see how strong this animal is? He's not even moving, but look, just standing there, his muscles are so profound. Somebody also could be dealing with an individual who has a very solid body type you know, not out of shape, but just solid. You know, this somebody could be six foot and taller as far as men go. Have very unique shaped ears, I'm hearing, and that's very specific, but that would apply to someone out there. But I want you to really see is, you notice how like closest to us, you have this mushroom, and you know how you hear magical mushrooms, like it, it gives you, it sends you like on a psychedelic trip or something like that. Somebody kind of tripping. Like somebody is giving someone, putting someone on a pedestal that they really shouldn't be put on. And, and you may, okay, because I'm telling you, if it's you, it could be very much that other people around you are like, you are tripping. You don't see what we see. Something is off with this person. And then if it's someone who's thinking like this about you, like some type of obsessive thoughts about you, you may have two very, um, two people. Somebody could be born in the year of the rabbit. Somebody could be born in the year of the weasel or ferret. Two people who are really kind of like, well, we see what you don't see. Somebody, 
And again, you see how the, the animals are close to him. They don't look like they're fearful of him. Like they could be like fans, like fangirl, fanboy. I'm just going to energy that somebody may be a little obsessed with someone in a creepy ass way where they don't know that they're being creepy. Like if it's not you and this person's talking about you all the time, it could be that two people could be coming towards you to tell you like this person just talks about you nonstop. Or you could be talking about someone to people and people are kind of looking at you like this person is tripping. And it's interesting because you see how they're both of them are looking different directions. It's like somebody could be looking in a different direction or looking the other way, not directly speaking on it. Like if you speak to your friend about this person, like, oh, he's so fine or she's so fine and blah, 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 blah. And just really amping this person up. Everybody else like, really? I don't see it. But they're not telling you directly that they don't see it. Or also they may not be telling you directly that you may sound a little obsessive with your, um, with what you're saying about this person, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. Gonna change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We would do the same for your clarifying deck. As always, there's absolutely no reversals in either deck. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have five pinnacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. You could definitely be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. You can also be dealing with, um, and you are the Virgo, of course, but you could also be dealing with someone who you feel like has left you out in the cold. And then I want to say, just like I was telling you, somebody is coming off like they're more financially abundant than they are. They could really be going through some hardships financially. Okay, I'm really getting that also. Okay, so what we're going to do is shuffle the deck upright a couple of times until we get your major arcana, which would be the Hermit. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? So let's just part the deck randomly. <laughs> Here's your Mage Arcana, and then you look at it. You're facing Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. Some of you guys could be September Virgos. Um, You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Leo, Sash, Aries. And I feel like for some of you all, it could also be you who on the outside you're making it appear as though you are more financially abundant than you really are but you may be kind of going through a little bit of financial struggles or you could be finding out because you see how he has this lantern lit towards the nine of wands you could be finding out that your love interest is not as financially abundant as they say they are or emotionally solid because if you see he's on his knee as though he's, he's succumbing to something I feel like emotionally and financially, look, and look what's peeking out back here. Yeah, financially for sure for somebody, okay? Financially for sure. Somebody is acting as though, yeah, this is 100% for me. Yeah, the king of pentacles, he lacks for nothing. Kings and queens are very wealthy and abundant. But right in front of him, you have the nine of wands. So for you, some of you all are finding out that this person, and you could be finding out now in Sag season, because wands is Leo, Sag, Aries, you could be finding out in Sag season that this person is not as abundant as they claim to be. And that's really what I'm getting there. So we're going to shuffle it a couple of times. Yeah, this person wants to come off as though they're abundant and they're really not. Something financially is um, all over the place. Yes, you just have the emperor and then now you have a page. You're going from an emperor to a page. An emperor is quite abundant. A page is someone who's still building on their abundance. They don't have much to offer. Um, Small potatoes, right? Someone's first, middle, or last initial could be W. M C U or H again W M C U or H. So again, we're gonna find that hermit, which is your major arcana. You have the ten of swords. Someone's gonna feel stabbed in the back of a trade. Also, I'm gonna say if someone may really be interested in someone romantically, and it may hurt them to find out that someone is already in a relationship or dealing with someone else already. I'm getting that also. So, yeah. Yeah. Because look at that. Right up under it, you have the five of wands. That's conflict, arguments, disagreements. But overall, it's too many people. So, someone could be finding out that there's already someone in the picture or that someone is um quite open. As far as dating goes, they're not ready to settle down. What I'm getting. So, again, we're going to get your major arcana, which would be the hermit. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, we didn't get too far. For some of y'all, again, I'm going to say it has to do with a love interest situation. So, let's see. There you go. You have your major icon, you got the Two of Pentacles, and then you have the Lovers. Wow. So, and then the Tower. Wow. Something unexpected coming to an end or something coming expected um, coming to light. Because you, as you can see right here, this man who's being tossed out of the Tower, he's nude. Nudity talks about vulnerability. This also relates to the energy of Scorpio and Aries. So something could have happened in Scorpio season. 
And we did have the um, Major Arcana, the Emperor twice. That's Aries energy. So it could definitely be involving an Aries, Aries Scorpio. Um, and you know, Major Arcana's are definite energies, right? I feel like if someone has been hiding how obsessed they are over you, you're going to find out they're going to be exposed. Because it's like they're not going to be able to hold it in anymore. You see how there's an explosion there? If you notice, you have the two of pentacles and then you have the lovers, which is Gemini. Gemini is the twin too. So somebody could have strong Gemini in that chart. They may not be, it's like you may see one side of this person, but not the other. And when this person realizes with that, you see how that lightning bolt is right there. You have this lightning bolt and thunderstorm deal going on here. Once they realize that you are in a relationship, they can kind of sense that they don't have a chance with you or vice versa. Because if you notice right here, this is a ghostly figure where this person isn't physically there. So again, I'm going to get an energy that someone didn't know that their love interest already has. They're already in a relationship. You got to ship your relationship. But here's the thing. You see how this lightning is right here? And the ship is kind of rocking like it's tumultuous and rocky waters. This could really do a number on this person to realize that you are already in a relationship is what I'm getting. Bottom of the deck, yeah, somebody's finding something out. You got the Eight of Wands, fast-moving communication coming out of the blue and unexpectedly. But more than anything, somebody wanted to come towards you quickly, but they may have just recently found out that you are already in a relationship. Yeah, they're going to find out this in Sag season because I want you to see this right up under here. Another major icon of temperance. That's Sag energy. So in Sag season, somebody's finding out that someone is... In a relationship, and then you do have the Eight of Wands. That's Sag energy also because it's Wands. Somebody's finding out that someone is in a relationship. They didn't know. I feel like someone didn't know that someone's in a relationship because, again, this person is a physical. This one is in a ghost figure. Someone didn't know because someone is possibly... If you're like me, I'm one of those type of people. I could be dating someone and no one would ever know because I don't, you know, I don't display my personal business. So I feel like this person is just really good at not... At, at keeping their business to themselves. Is what I'm getting there, okay? So let's go ahead and part the deck. And this head just don't want to do right. <laughs> let's part the deck and then um, shuffle. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could already be in some. I'm telling you, somebody could already be in something stable. And you didn't know or they didn't know. Because you see how he's watching them from behind the scenes? And then if you notice there's one, two, three, this person. I'm, I'm, what I was getting ready to say a few minutes ago is that. I feel like this person wouldn't give a damn. They actually would want to still approach you or still try to come towards you. Because if you notice right over this third party, there's an upside down home. Now, I'm getting two messages with that. Either A, this person could feel like, damn, there, there's there's my chance on trying to be with this person and being something committed. But then also, they it's like almost like they are ready to risk it all. Like they wouldn't give a damn about being a third party because they don't feel like they want the two of you to be together. Let's see. You're going to get a clarifier for the two of pentacles as well as the lovers. There's your major icon again. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is, um, it looks like you guys could be finding something out that doesn't make you very happy. Mm. Or realizing that somebody is, you know, not as wealthy as they seem to be. I'm telling you, it's, I'm getting two strong scenarios. Somebody, quite a few actually. Somebody's acting as though they're more wealthy than they are, like they're more well off, that they have a higher rank, rank, ranking position than they actually have. Also, someone, I, I'm, I am getting energy of jealousy because look at his face. Like he's not happy about whatever it is he found out, finding out that somebody's already in a happy relationship. He's up under the rainbow or what is perceived as a happy relationship. Yeah, somebody's finding something out. Ace of Swords, Truth, Clarity, Knowledge, and Wisdom. And then you have the King of Wands in reverse. Kings and Queens in reverse are negative. Because those are individuals who have been dethroned, do not feel like they're in their power. So the truth of the matter is you're going to be finding out that somebody is not as, their status isn't as high as you perceive it to be or as they want to make it seem like. And then also, I'm not going to lie, I'm getting the energy that somebody doesn't give a damn that somebody is in a relationship. They still want to pursue them. I'm really getting that. For somebody out there, that's, that's going to resonate. Bottom of the deck, yeah. See, I'm telling you, somebody doesn't care. And I want to show you why, because the six cups of soulmates, a union, um, individuals that you have a great deal of history with. But look what you got right here. There's a third party on the premises. That person can clearly see that the two of you all are connected or somebody's connected in union. But this person is very close on the premises. I feel like this is someone that you know. 
definitely could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And even though this is um, Gemini, the lovers, you see how they're in the water. So there could definitely be a strong water sign. Also, something could have happened in, um, like I said, Scorpio season because you do have Scorpio here with the tower. I'm just getting energy that somebody's wishes have been crushed. Because, you know, at the end of every rainbow, there's a pot of gold, but he's holding the pentacles. So two pentacles out of that pot, which means somebody needs to choose from one between the other, not getting the full prize at the end of the rainbow. Let's see. Let's get a clarifier for the two of pentacles for, yeah, see, somebody wants, I'm telling you, somebody wants someone's spot. And also they are putting someone on the pedestal. You or the third party or a person of interest, whoever you're thinking about, first, middle, or last initial could be W, M, T, J, C, or U. Again, W, M, T, J, C, or U. Okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And I was just saying that strong water energy here. Strong water energy. Bottom of the deck, you have the king of swords in reverse. Okay? So anytime you have a king or a queen in reverse that's negative, again, that's somebody who is not in a position of power. They have been dethroned defunct if you will and then i always tell you guys sword up yes sword down no swords of communication and mental so for the sword to be down somebody is just lurking keeping tabs on you also not speaking up about a situation and also not happy about what it is they found out because again swords communication so if they were doing some lurking they may have found out that you are already in a situation or you may have found out that someone is already in a situation whatever the case somebody's not happy about it okay that's going to clarify. It definitely could be a Gemini because you have the King of Swords and then right here you have Major Arcana, the um, Lovers Gemini. So let's get a click. Okay. That one, you seen this one there? <laughs> Third party in reverse. I'm telling you. Three of Cups in reverse. Someone does not give a damn that someone is in a relationship. They are just still wanting to be in this person's life is what I'm getting. Three of Cups talks about, you know, unions coming together, celebrations, um, bonding with friends and family and things like that. But in reverse, especially with the energies that we were picking up, I definitely feel like definitely there's a third party who has water in their chart for sure. Again, can't spice Scorpio. Someone who has strong water in their chart is like, they want to connect with someone, but this person may already be in a relationship. And then also if it's not someone who has strong water in their chart, this person could be just very emotional because cups is the emotion of the feeling. Someone is very much emotional about the fact that someone is with someone else and they want to offer their cup they want to extend their um interest regardless of the fact that this person is already in a relationship here you see how even be coming from behind him there's a strike of lightning like this third party is going to be that bolt of lightning this third party is going to be the tower somebody knows that their their love interest is in a relationship they don't care though it's like they they want yeah because again now i'm even hearing the song stand by eminem like somebody is like because even here, if you look at it, her back is facing us. You have these two people here, which could be a couple because the two of cups is a couple. But then you have a third person right in the middle of the situation. And then it's in reverse. Somebody does not give a damn that someone is in a relationship. They just want to have this connection with this individual by any means necessary is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.